previously on Love and Marriage Huntsville. A lot of things that we're doing right now, everything isn't bringing in money. So if we keep dishing all money out, we're just trying to be broke. You're like all grown up, getting out of school. What's your housing arrangements when you finish? I want to stay. You want to do what? Stay here. And Destin, how's the salon going? I actually was going to uh, meet with Marceau. I wanted to know how you felt about me inviting them to the soft opening. We ain't friends. I was thinking about um, allowing them to do a bid for the salon suites. Well, I would say be careful with that. Yep, yep, yep. I wanted to speak with you mm -hmm. at your event and say congratulations. But that so, wasn't the right time. Anything with you coming against my brand What's and your brand? women empowerment, as okay. you know, like I empowered you and brought you out the house. Anything with you coming against my brand how did and I what I feel. You've done that for what? how long now? You're damaging your own brand no. by being a okay. mean girl. I'm not a mean girl, that's though. You and doing that's this. what I, I don't like. Which is why I don't brand. engage with you. You feel like I post mean, that I'm a mean girl, I guess, and I post mean things on social media. Yeah, you guys post things on social media. That you made a tweet and you was like, what would you do if somebody tell you, I don't care what my man do, I didn't share as long as he's taking care of home. I never had that Aww. conversation with you. You did say yeah, that, Tisha. You want me to tell you where we were? not my word. And we can call Kimmy, so she's we like, Kimmy was a witness. Could. Let's call her in here because I never said that. Well, call her in here. OK, let me go get him. Here she goes, calling in Kimmy. At the end of the day, girl, pull your big girl panties up and stand your ground and say whatever you want to say and don't need nobody else to validate, agree with, confirm. What you need all that for? What's up, girl? Not Sorry to pull you from both. Uh -huh. I know, I was killing it, too. <laughs> I have a question well, for you. Just a quick second. OK, I got it. Uh, do you me. have a question, or would you like no, do you remember, remember the incident? incident? I know I didn't say what you're saying, I said. You remember that one day we was at Bravo. It was me, you, Mel, Martel, and Marcel. That night, she said that I got mad with Marcel and I walked away, which is probably true. Um, but she said I made a statement. Do you remember what type of statement that I made that would stick out to you? Oh, Lord, duh. Here we go. Hit me in the middle. Um, I don't remember. Well, she said that I said that I don't care what Marcel does out here in the streets as long as you don't make me, don't have me out here looking stupid. You made it. I did not. <laughs> but you did. It's like you could tell a lie so good that you're trying to tell convince people okay. that your lie is so true. Tisha, it is so not. Tisha, you're kind of going to a 10. I need you to bring it down a little bit if I you don't have a good conversation. You kind of are. I am, am I going to a 10? I literally want to be Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Click my little heels three times and poof, I'm gone. But for the record, y'all done with me. Yes. OK, you you back. For the record, I, just, we're done. Thanks, Kimmy. We're done. <laughs> I just want to just try to stop the meanness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to explain to MJ about the comment that Martel made. You know, MJ was like, why would Mr. Martel say that he has 20 girlfriends? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I just, I didn't like having that conversation with you. You right. know, and I'm mm -hmm. sure you would understand also. Mm -hmm. um, our kids are bigger, so they're in school, like I'm just in middle school, so they hear things. Right. Um, and that was difficult. I don't like the fact that our dysfunction has bled into the kids' lives. You know, I hope that, you know, Tisha takes responsibility for her actions versus trying to use her child, though, as a shield. Let's just put whatever it is behind us and just B, would it be? Don't discuss me, I won't discuss you. Your whole vibe is not on some stop meanness. Let's be clear on that. What energy did I give you to make you say negative it was energy. me? How was it Bad negative? energy. How? When you're trying to tell me you don't want to have a mean girl type relationship or that I'm mean or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. That's what you're giving, though. I didn't know that was the energy that I put off. I'm going to take ownership for what I do yeah. and how I react and how I respond to mm -hmm. things. I'm taking ownership for me. And I'm just asking you to stop that as well. So here today, and also at your event, I came in good spirit. 
I was happy. I have so much going on. I have so many positive things that's happening to me right now. I'm doing, see, see how you're laughing while I'm explaining things to you? That's but funny, you're back I'm sorry. You're back energy, but that's, it's you. It's just funny, Tisha. Okay. <laughs> I hear you, girl, and I applaud you. Good, congratulations, that's amazing. You know, we all got going on, but it's the fact that but you, know you what, came to my Sometimes. event and we haven't talked in months. We don't have to say, girl, I want to be best friends. I want us to rebuild our relationship. No, but I just don't want it to be mean towards one another. We don't have anything good to say, then. Let's not say nothing at all. We ain't got to be best friends, but we should be able to be cordial. Um, I think that would be good for everybody. I think agree. It would definitely be good for the kids, you know? Mm -hmm. I like that. Let's be cordial. I think whatever the guys have going on, let the guys handle that. I'm right. staying out of that. Mm -hmm. That being said, family is off limits. Children and parents, mother, father, are off limits. Unless that parent does something that needs to be checked, then yeah, it needs to be checked. I agree. All right, cool. Well, girl, let's go okay, back let's to the party. Go, and go yeah, check on these kids. Let's go check on the kids. Well, at least that was the first step, right? Half, half. I can call a truce, but with the first lips of shadiness, just know this truce will be over before she can even say mean girl. But right now, Martell and I do need to handle this situation as it relates to MJ. Hey, MJ, hey, let, me, let me talk to you for a minute, okay? You all right? Yeah. All right, huh? Yeah. Hey, your dad and I, we had a conversation about um, some things that I had, um, I had mentioned, and you got wind of it, about like the 20 girlfriends or something like that I mentioned. You know, that was just something I was just saying. So, you know, none of that is, is true. So it's nothing that you even have to even worry about or talk about. Or you, like you're not thinking your dad doing anything wrong or nothing like that, because he's not. That's just something I just said just to get under the skin at the time, OK? OK. All right, so we good? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Hey, y'all, hey, we gonna come do some cake, guys. Cake, 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 cake. Ooh, <laughs> hey, 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 h
If I didn't, you wouldn't be missing it right now. But I'm stepping back a little bit while you step up to the plate a little bit. I've been at the plate. What you talking about? Step, step up, up a little bit more then. What? I've been taking care of whatever. Okay. Use your words correctly. I'm chiming into a multi-billion, I think maybe 56 or 58 to be exact, industry. Yeah. My okay. point is, me pulling away here a little bit to make sure these things are a success, which is gonna make way more than holding hope. I don't see anything that's wrong with you, like, stepping up a little bit and taking a little more charge. Like, what else you doing? Is that really bothering you? Is it really taking that much away from you? I guess you don't understand. This is where majority of our money come from. And then you step back, that's gonna affect the money. I mean, at least you can come in three or four hours a day. I just had a baby. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. If Kyle moves to Huntsville, does Monster stay here? Okay. Kimmy, Iowa. That is not <laughs> even funny. Oh, you're saying that your mom is causing friction in your relationships. You just tell her to shut the hell up. You know all the meetings your husband has? Absolutely. He knows my calendar, I know his. I guess you don't understand. This is where majority of our money come from. And then you step back, that's gonna affect the money. I mean, at least you can come in three or four hours a day. When my schedule starts for me, I just had a baby and working a whole lot. Anyway, past that, how did you think the birthday party that I put together went? Did you enjoy it? Um, yeah, it was cool. It was cool? Kids enjoyed it. How did you feel about everybody that was there? You know, I should have said something because to who? To Marceau and Letitia. Oh. Y'all come to my baby's party, you better walk up here and speak to me. They didn't speak to you? I mean, no, because I guess they didn't think I was gonna speak to them. Because mm. if they had spoke to me, I probably would have Yeah. not spoke anyway, though, you well, know? Well, you understand that, then. Uh, if you know somebody ain't gonna speak to no, you. No, but still. So that, that'll be the last time. What'll be the last time? The kids get together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Tisha and I had a conversation. And it ended pretty okay, though. But the thing is, a lot of the conversations end okay dealing with them. But next thing you know, they go stab you in the back, go on social media and make up something. Like, well, how y'all gonna turn y'all back on the people that was helping y'all? I don't even want him around me, period. Well, you know, the Madonna event is coming up. Um, I'm excited about that. I am, too. And I think they're gonna be there. Why are they gonna be there? Because you know Destiny, she knows them. She's been in different environments with them, so she wants no, to invite she them. Has. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Destiny, let her know that, like, going forward, no. Like, people like that, no. They don't come to any events. I've known Destiny since high school and LaBert before then. I definitely don't want them to get caught up with the Scots and get stabbed in the back like I did. I just hope that you can keep your cool. Uh, I'll be cool. Let's yeah, they, they ain't our event, so. Way to pull up your big boy pants. Well, look, I'm about to get ready to go. I got another meeting. So if you are the kids meeting me, meet just me? let me know. Now I'm going to go meet with my stylist to go over what I'm going to wear for the commercial. Damn. A stylist? A paid stylist? Yeah, you paying for it. God, I'm just saying, like, God. Go back to work, Mr. Holt. Love you. When you gonna start your three, four hours a day? I love you, babe. <laughs> Hey, babes. Hey. I you something to Thank drink. Thank you. Doing all right? Mm-hmm. How's the studying coming? I think my brain is starting to get full. Yeah, I think I probably should have took a vacation. Yeah. I, I could probably help you out with that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have to try to be the rah-rah cheerleader for everybody. And I try to be the support team the motivator, the short order chef. And so I'm definitely looking forward to getting to the other side. Maybe there's a honeymoon on the other side. <laughs> Don't think I forgot. For you to get this part behind you and us kind of start to have a semblance of a normal life. Right. It's kind of cool. A honeymoon. Yeah. I'm game for that. Have you talked to Kawa in regards to like the summer? Cause you know, we still got monsters. So we got to kind of plan around I guess, is he going there for the summer? Or? Yeah, he's going there for the summer. How yeah. is that even coming? Um, as far as like her moving here, getting a job? She said that she was still interested in coming down and stuff, but I don't really know. Have y'all talked about, I guess, like 
splitting. Like, if she moves to Huntsville, does he stay here Monday through Friday, stay with her on the weekends? Have y'all talked about anything? We haven't talked as... about that. But even if she moves down here like she plans, um, you know, he's still going to live with us. You know, and I don't think that she's going to push back on that at all. Is that speculation, or have y'all actually talked about it? We had a plan initially. The plan was when he was eight, he was supposed to come and live with me. I understand. Wow. All of that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I'm saying if both of y'all are in the same general area, why would he have to stay with you all the time? Okay, like, right now, that makes sense because y'all are in different states. Mm -hmm. Why would she not want to split that time evenly with you? Uh, I think the baton's passed. What's that mean? We're actually working on a teenager to a man now. I think the, baton, the baton's passed So you over feel to... like you don't have to ask? I'm not saying that I'm not open to listening. Uprooting a baby, a child from his mom is difficult. I am a mom of a boy. Okay, Kimmy, Iowa. Not even funny. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's not. Okay. Like, don't do it again. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. You got your own voice, right? Exactly. He knows that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can I get some, uh... Sure, I can get you some espresso. Thank you. Thank you. Uprooting a baby from his mom is difficult. I am a mom of a boy. Okay, Kimmy, Iowa. That is not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. It's not. Okay. Like, don't do it again. I'm saying that I want to share, you know, custody, but I think that right now, the stuff that I'm working on is, is molding a young man. I have a plan. It's called Wildly Successful Monster. It's unbelievable how much stuff he does in my head. I'm saying let's keep it this way. He still needs both parents. I agree 100% with that. Yeah, he still needs you to communicate with his mom. I don't disagree with anything that you're saying, but there has to be a leader of, of the team. It just so happens to be me on this one. There's an ultimate decision maker as well. I agree. Mm hmm You're that guy. I'm what guy? The decision maker. Just in this situation. Mm. Yeah, I try to be, you know, encouraging people to make decisions that, you know, kind of go along with me. Like, at the end of the day, I'm not looking at it like a dictatorship, but it also isn't a democracy. So what exactly is it? Something in between. What's in between? Dictators that listen. in here, babe. You like how the color scheme and everything is coming up? You think it's too much white? I like it. Good. We recently finished our office and we're selling it in. The look of your office is really important when you're dealing in commercial real estate. Right, I mean, it's a showcase. We did it for us. I mean, we can do it for you. Right. Definitely. You come here with your guys, because I know y'all like to come to the office and drink. No, babe, I come to the office and work. That's mm -hmm. my thing. Mm hmm this, this is a functional office about work. Work, 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 work. Work and work and boss. What's this? Babe, would you like something to drink? <laughs> How'd you feel about the, um, the birthday party? I guess it, it was as expected. There was nothing, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Okay, did you and Martel talk at all there? No, he has made it very clear to me that when we're in public settings, he's not gonna speak any words to me, so. Mel and I, we spoke, we talked. Did you guys get to a resolution? Yes, um, we was just like, the parents and kids been off limits. She was like, mm. you know, parents off limits, kids off limits. I was like, I agree. That's where it's at for me. No friendship, no any of that, just this, respect. So just weirdness. Either we're friends or we're not. If we're friends, we're gonna treat each other like friends or we're gonna behave accordingly. If we're not, then we're not. 
and it'll be what it is. I think we've broken up and got back together with the hopes more times than a high school couple. I'm done with be putting energy into being enemies. I'm done with putting energy into being friends. It is what it is. I'm done. So what I don't like is that my mom is always on social media. And of course, every time she hears something, she's coming to me or she's talking to me about mail. And I'm like, mom, can we just stop? So you're saying that your mom is causing friction in your relationships? No. No, of course no. not. <laughs> I'm just saying, I had to apologize. And Kimmy at the party, too, because mm -hmm. I had to, again, apologize for my mom's behavior. No, I wanted to talk to you and just apologize for how my mom was, like, coming strong at the family get-together. You don't have to apologize for Wanda, and I got Wanda. You're apologizing to Kimmy on behalf of your mom. Mm -hmm. You're having issues with Mel on behalf of your mom. No, I'm having issues with Mel on behalf of Mel. Maybe you should have a conversation with your mom. And yeah. maybe in that conversation, you should tell her to shut the hell up. I will decide if and when my mom is out of line. Don't disrespect my mom. Because she always respects me. It doesn't matter, Marcel. She's my mother. OK, I'm your husband. I guess I can win this one. I've been handling it my way for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. I'm working on my mom. You know, we sort of grew up together. My mama had me at a young age. Babe, so... I so, you know what? If you can do me a favor, <sighs> if you can make the same amount of excuses for me as you do for your mom, that'd be dope. OK, so you need to get this stuff, the rest of this stuff together in here, or you want me to leave now so you can do some work? I'm doing work, babe. I'm you working. look like you're sitting back with your legs kicked up. Can't wait for my desk to come. Or we cannot have your desk in here. I think we got a, uh... Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I know Destin gave you a date. She's been talking to a couple more contractors, including the host. I say at the end of the day, the best man wins. I already know Destin, right? You better, and she'll feel some kind of way about you not knowing her. Okay, so you need to get this stuff, the rest of this stuff together in here, or you want me to leave now so you can do some work? I'm doing work, babe. I think we got a, uh... Oh, a visitor. Oh, that's Destiny. Hello. Hi, girl. Ooh, this How is nice. How you doing? Good. Thank you. How are you? You look good. Hey, Miss Destiny. Too. Good to see you. Hey, hey. hey how this are you? Doing? This is a lot different than the first time I saw it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's like coming it. together. Finish the decorating and cleaning up. So. How are you, ma'am? Good, good. Good right. to see you. Can I get something to drink? Coffee? <laughs> no, I can't have anything that strong. Oh. She's with child. Okay. Oh, it's Still taking words. care of business. Never <laughs> ask. I've learned to never ask. But you I saw just, it, though. I can see a whole baby leg down there. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to ask. Me, I'm an eye guy. I'm an eye guy. Okay, yeah, smart. I'm an eye guy. That's a smart woman. Right, well, 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 I can help you out. Well, I brought over, um, actually, um, okay. some information about the salon suites. I well, wanted look, to show don't you. Don't let me be rude real quick. Have a seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get right. that. Have a seat. The soft launch from my beauty supply store is right around the corner, but the salon portion requires some major construction before it opens. I want to approach Marceau about putting in a bid because it's just important for me to put business back into our community. Oh, there's my seat. You guys right. stand. There we go. All right. <laughs> so what I want to do, what I am going to do for the back area is I want to do 12 to 15 salon suites in the back. Um, parcel them off. I do want an office, a storage space, and a conference room. Okay, you're right. This is a construction conversation, so <laughs> I'm gonna see my way out of this. I know, okay. <laughs> you can sit there. <laughs> this is not my part of the business. This is his part. So. Okay. <laughs> speaking of speaking of parts, babe, can I get some? Uh, maybe a. Uh... Sure, I get you some espresso. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, and you say you do have plans? or I do, actually, um, Baby Brain. I'm blaming on Baby Brain. I forgot them, but I can email them to you. Okay, please, please. Excuse me, guys. Oh, thank you, babe. You're welcome. Um, and the total square footage of the building is? 4,000 square 4, feet. 4,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have a natural hairstylist in there. I'm looking for someone that specializes in natural hair. No, no, but I think it's gonna be dope, man. I'm proud of you guys, man. Thank you. And I know how long these things take, and sometimes, and you're going through it, and all the different challenges That's and everything. Me. 
Where'd you get that name from? Madani? Mm -hmm. It's my grandmother's name and my dad's name combined. Oh, okay, okay. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like the name. I just, just want another history behind it. Thank you. Thank you. This meeting was just supposed to be with Marceau, but Tisha's being a tad bit annoying and a little disrespectful interrupting us. So if this is how they do business, we're not off to a good start. People ask me sometimes, they're like, man, how come black is taking so long? Like, look, at the end of the day, man. How long has it taken? Yeah, it's been about, it's been close to what, eight, nine months at least. Yeah. Well, I, I'm a, you know I want this to be done by May. Hmm. Hmm. I want to do my grand opening on my birthday. Mm -hmm. When is your birthday? May 1st. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so not 31st. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> not 31st. So, by so really April, really, I want it to like be like right. Done April. by, right. like, April. <laughs> <clears throat> well, well, what I can do is this. I can, we can take a look at it, and it's going to be based on when I get the notice to proceed from the city. Right now, the city is about five to eight weeks out, so. You can't work some magic? Mr. Contractor? I'm talking to him about a couple other projects, and every owner has said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> With such an ambitious timeline, I think she's going to be, like, pushing and on you. I think that it's important to make sure that, as I would any client, give them my budget, give them the price, and give them the time in which they can expect the product delivered, and let them make a good decision. Timing is the most important part, because I mm. don't want it to be dragged on. I have a date that I want to have, you know, the mm -hmm. mayor to cut the ribbon and all that other good stuff. So, I need it quick. OK. We'll do our best efforts. You got to come with it. <laughs> just, just a little curious. I mean, is Mel going, or Mel and Martel going to feel any kind of way about not being a contractor on this? Um, I don't think so. OK. No, I don't want any. Backlash from Just give me a good bid. It's business, baby. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> so I like the way Marceau asked point blank about the holds. He didn't hold back, so I respect that. I think I could do business with Marceau. I'm not sure what Lazisha's here to do besides make coffee, but let me see this bid and see what we can do. Oh, um, also, I sent invites to the soft launch yeah, you about okay. on Sunday. Yeah, Mrs. we're excited about that. Yes, yeah, thank you. I sent you. you a message, and I, you didn't give me a response. I'm sorry, girl. You know, social, me and social media, we have a love-hate thing. Uh -huh. so, but I would definitely be there. Thank you so okay, much. OK, I was like, is that Shay? <laughs> no, like, wait no. a minute. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, your husband said yeah, but I want to make sure that you said yeah, too, because yeah, I didn't want to be like, oh, well, Marceau said we going, we going. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's how it works. That's no, how it works. you got your own voice, right? Exactly. He knows that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She got her own voice, yeah, not her own. Stuff, no. Not her own last name. So <gasps> there's that. Oh God. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. We we'll looking for this after the baby drive. Like, let me get this body back. I have a part the of butter. embrace the body butter. That's why I created that. I guess I should have escorted myself in this conversation because I was kicked out by security and stuff. <laughs> At the start of the summer, I was so uptight, I was fighting something. We're always happy to support Huntsville entrepreneurs, even if that entrepreneur is destiny. It's going to be good for young ladies to also be able to look up to destiny and say, you know what, I can do it too, because exactly. destiny took the Exactly, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Yep. That's purple and black. That's the one I want you to put on. The purple bob. Yeah, that's the one I want you to put on. Yeah, I like that burger. I like the bangs. You know you got to transition for your man, so that purple bead. I got it. I keep 20. So you ain't got to have 20 women, you just got, got 20 weeds. Ain't nobody up in there looking like me. Oh, hey. oh man. Yeah. I'm ready to eat. I want to go to the food. Today is the soft launch of Madani Beauty Supply Store. I'm going to be sharing this moment with family and friends and colleagues and local influencers in the city. So I'm just really excited about today. You're going to be shopping for beard oil? Hey, right now here. a man unit. Like, <laughs> range no. and side unit. No, Y'all ain't doing that? No. I want to get a man unit just like LeBarrick's. Huh? I want a man unit like LeBarrick's. <laughs> man, there, there you go. <laughs> Waves all the way around and a perfect line. Man, grease line, <laughs> do rag line, the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> That's what's up, man. I was asking um, somebody earlier, you're, so you're going to have a full line hair supply? It's not just hair, it's going to be everything. Everything. This is part one. Part uh -huh. two is, is not finished, oh. which I actually talked to your brother about. Um, oh, really? Putting a bid in to do some sweets for me in the back. He can do that? 
He said he could. He's super busy. I'm saying he can do that. Well, that scares me. Well. <laughs> I'm hoping that Marceau is not one of those contractors that takes on too many jobs at one time and can't finish them because I have no problem firing a contractor. So y'all open up officially tomorrow. It's gonna be soon. It's Tuesday. Officially oh, Tuesday. That's what's oh, up, man. I like it. Now you can this add us up, on the list man, of man, things man, that you don't up. forget. Right. Or things that I don't forget. I don't remember y'all chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken was the chicken. on point. <laughs> the chicken was on point. I didn't forget the chicken. All right. <laughs> now add Madani to it now. Girl, I thought you were past this. We talked about it and everything, and you're still on the chicken. Like you're still on the chicken? <laughs> Golly. couldn't be happier for my girl, Destiny. I'm happy for her, too, but I just don't approve some of her guests. Well, I'm all for supporting Black-owned businesses that support the community, even if that means seeing the hopes. Well, I mean, it's not going to be an issue with that. Mel and I, I mean, we're grown-ups, and we both agree to be cordial. Yeah. Well, you look beautiful. Look at you. You look nice and Thank white. You. If I could please have everyone's attention. Hi, I am Lindsay from Allure Ambiance, and I would love to welcome you to this amazing soft grand opening for Madani. And now your guest of honor, Destiny. Hello, everybody. Thank you all for coming and experiencing this soft launch with me. So, um, being the first ever African-American female beauty All supply right. and salon suite owner, Ooh. I am very grateful. So, eat, drink, and be married. <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all. What's beautiful, up? Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad for Destiny. And me too. And in the back, she's gonna have salon suites. What's yeah. up, my mama? Nothing, just bouncing around. Well, y'all look so pretty. Thank you. Me too. Me too. Like we was going out to like chill out. Y'all look, look like y'all were going to church. Yeah, yeah, not church. I'm just saying, y'all are more, way more dressy. <laughs> not the <good>. church. <laughs> I'm happy you guys got to talk at the birthday party. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the good thing is at the end, by the end of the conversation, whatever we had, it was we gonna move in a better direction, make sure yeah. that the kids are able to be in each other's lives. And, you know. and we can be in a situation like this and yeah. speak like, hey. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, then that's good. That's yeah. progress. Yeah. yeah. We're taking baby steps. Enough said. <laughs> hey, Diva. Hey. How y'all doing? What's up, woman of power? Oh, I said, OK, hot girl. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look, I'm going to be looking for this after the baby drive. Like, let me get this body back. <laughs> then you call Miss Hope over here with her snapback game. <laughs> I got all the secrets ready for you. That's how um, I didn't really have it out, but you know, I have a part the of butter. Embrace, the body butter. That's why I created that. So I'll give you some. Make sure you get some. Or did you get one? Oh, you got one of my little bags at the event, but it don't have the body butter in it. So I'll give you my body butter. I guess I should have escorted myself in this conversation because I was kicked out by security. So. <laughs> Tisha making childish side jabs like this clearly shows me that she's really not ready to move on. Speaking of events, <laughs> I have an event coming up that I would like to invite all you ladies to, The Power of Marriage. So I would definitely like for y'all to be in the building to maybe get some tips on, you know, having a powerful marriage. I think we all have, have experienced some things that we've overcame in our marriage. So. Who's speaking? Uh, we ha I have a panel that's going to be speaking. So who are the panelists? Um, it's going to be Kimmy and Marie. I'm telling you. Did you know you're know you a panelist? How hard she you know. she just took a now breath like know. she didn't I know. know. Now, now you know. <laughs> I think it's crazy weird that Tisha would tell me I'm going to be on the panel in front of Mel and Destiny, and they're not on the panel. Um, a Darren Sadari, of course, me and Marcel. <laughs> From what I saw the other day, I'm not sure I want to learn marriage tips from Letitia and Marceau. But I can learn how to make espresso. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. up to the wife? But yeah, it's, I'm part of it, too, I guess. Yeah, no, I'm really... talking about the uh -huh. bundle of joy. To what you say, since they're here at this event today, just be careful of what you say around them. Yeah. Um, I don't know how. I'm okay. just saying, be careful. You. Why are you up in the building around them today? Desi told me she had to uh, uh, come put a bed on. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Salon suites and everything. Well, definitely. Honestly. 
There's a lot going on right now. There's a shortage right. of labor and stuff. So, so I definitely uh -huh. love to give her a bid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Destiny gave you a date and everything, and she's been talking to a couple more contractors, including the hosts. I say at the end of the day, the best man wins. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to do the nah, better well, job? Well, it's not really a competition. Well, yeah, I mean, price and the time frame. I believe the time frame. The time frame is what drives up the price. Right, right, honestly. right. Honestly. There is no competition between the Holtz and the Scots. LeBaric means well, but I think he should stick to doing what he does best, which is making the best chicken out there, and let us stick to what we do best, which is build. Yesterday was a little awkward about the RSVP. Because I'm like, <laughs> why you in the RSVP? Why you in the RSVP this morning? I, really? I saw it. I, I was like, like, OK, I see I it. I looked now. at my mom and said, really? Hey, it's rather late than never. I guess. Well, I'm glad you came. I didn't even see your husband yet. Is he here? He's somewhere over there with the guys. Oh, OK. So you typically sit in on most of his meetings? No, I don't. No, that's his business. You were in our meeting yesterday. Well, no, because I was in my office. <laughs> you guys are our office. No, you were like, I'm going to sit no, here. And no, he's like, I'm going to sit down. Right, because I didn't know what it was about. He didn't tell you? No, did he, he knew you was coming there? Yes. Oh, well, no, he didn't tell me. He had a meeting with you there. I'm not sure where your questions are going, so that's what I'm asking. Why that look? I just didn't know that you didn't know. Do you know all the meetings your husband has? Every single day you go through his schedule and look at all of his meetings? Absolutely. He knows my calendar. I know his. Yeah, no, we don't do that. I don't have a need to. Well, I have to take a potty break as per usual, which is like every five minutes. So okay. Good talking to you, boo. OK, you too. All right. That was the shadiest interaction I ever had with Destiny. Things are going well with Mel and I today. And I don't want another messy event or mess things up with anyone else. I just had a weird conversation with Destiny. Mm. Oh, she was like, well, you didn't know we had a meeting? I said, no, I didn't know y'all had a meeting. Not at all. She said, um, in the day we go over each other's schedule. I was like, oh, well, girl, you must, y'all ain't got no kids. We got three kids. We ain't got to do that. <laughs> Well, good luck with that. Good that luck with that. Weird. But you know what? I, you can't listen to that, I know, all right? I'm just like, why everybody trying to come from my hey, marriage and listen, my relationship? You've been married for 13 years. They've been married for N months, right. all right? Somebody who ain't never ran no business, somebody who ain't never did nothing, they'll tell you everything, the best way to do everything. Mm -hmm. Single people or newlyweds, they have the best advice until they start doing it. Then they like, oh, you're doing the right. Yeah, I mean, I just came to the event to support you, not to be shaded about me. I don't know if it's shade. I think it's just, I think it's just, just her having an opinion of. What I should do in my relationship. What she's, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's the problem. What you, what you say is this next time, like, girl, what you good at? Tell me about that. Don't tell me about this stuff that you just started last month. This is funny to me. <clears throat> LeBaron told me, we got you bidding against the Holtz. Mm. They can have it. We're not bidding against anybody. Well, <laughs> no, nah, I mean, listen, I, I, I bid against people all day, so I, I don't have a problem with it. I don't know. I don't like it <clears throat> because they're friends with the Holtz. So why would they even, and they know that we have, the Holtz don't like us. I think from a business standpoint, it's irresponsible of us for a customer that comes in and says, hey, I want to get a bid from you for us to say, no, nah, we're not because of who you're friends with. Because mm. if that's the case, in little, well, no, in little small Huntsville, in little small Huntsville, we'd have to, we won't be doing anything. Yeah. But we give them a competitive bid based on our price, based on our schedule, and let's just fall where they are, you know? And, at the, and if we do that, then there's no hard feelings. But I think we have to remember, this is about business, not just about making friends. Well, you know, Mel is going to make it about us. I mean, it is about us being the best bidder. I think that, you know, made the best bid win. Girl, listen, let me tell you, I'm so proud of Thank you. you. I'm so happy for you, friend. Ooh, I Thank love you so much. This Thank has been you. great. And you know, look, see? We got along just fine with the Scots. We had a shady moment. Who was being shady? I was talking to Tisha about my meeting with, uh, Marceau. I, I told you I was gonna meet with Marceau about yeah. doing a bit on the salon suite. So I came in and Marceau was sitting down and then he yeah. got up and they were, Tisha was there. Was she really? She was there and then she walked and sat in the chair that he was sitting in and then 
He told her to get up, and she's like, I'm not getting up. I'm sitting right here, and I'm sitting Very there. professional, huh? OK, for a potential new client. Very professional. It was weird. Like, I didn't understand why she sat down in the first place, or if she was going to sit down, like, be a part of the meeting. Uh -huh. So then she just excused herself. And then she came back and w brought him a cup of coffee and Aww. espresso. And... Back to her normal duties. OK. I already know this, right? Yeah. You better. And she'll feel some kind of way about you not knowing her. <laughs> How would I know her? She smells weird. I feel you, but she I came for me that I didn't know her. I don't know. Lately, I feel like she's been giving off that kind of aroma. Like, is she, like, on that guard kind of or something? Aroma. Like, she, like, and then she, she literally, she's like, I'm defense. not understanding where your questions are coming from or where they're going. I'm just following you. And she was like, did, did your husband tell you about all his meetings? Oh, hell no. What? I said, yeah. It does. Like, we actually share schedules. Like, we link, sync them together. And she was just like, well, I don't feel the need to do that. It's like the energy just went swish. Oh, so you feel it too? Thank yeah, it you. It was weird. Because I've been saying that. Her? What's that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just be careful, sis. So I got my eye on Tisha. Mm, not really sure about the skies at this point, so I'm watching her. Next on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Did I tell you what the play is about? I'm a first lady married to a pastor. And my husband has been cheating on me, and now it's all over the internet, all over social media. Why would you even accept it? Of course, though. That's your husband. He knows how important this even is for me. Hey, where you at? Why is Mayor even here? I was told that you kicked her out of your event. Wanda, you are so extra. I understand you and Mel, y'all building a relationship, but if I expect you to have my back versus having Mel's back. You know, my father and I didn't have a relationship as I was growing up. You know, I was wondering when you were going to mention your father. What was that like? Because your 